Hi, Catherine Kyle here from greenthickies.com and today I'm going to be talking about how to dye your hair naturally without toxic chemicals. So why do we want to avoid normal hair dyes? Now if you've ever had a look on the back of the packet of a normal hair dye then you will realise how toxic these ingredients are and because they, the hair dye is clinging to your hair all the time like it never uh, washes out, it's just there, it's constantly causing you problems because it's in contact with your skin, it's in contact with your scalp, you're breathing it all the time, so it's not just causing you problems the very first time you do it, it's causing you problems continuously all the time because your hair is attached to your, your face and your head and you're breathing in the air, so this is why it's so, so important to avoid toxic chemicals on your hair. So what are the alternatives? Because if you're like me and you've got, um, got you've got grey hair, then you might want to go natural. I mean, if I didn't have grey hair, I definitely wouldn't dye my hair at all. I started getting grey hair when I was about 20 years old and I certainly wasn't ready to go grey and I still don't feel ready to go grey even now. I do not like having grey hair. You might have noticed my grey hair, hair in my last video. I don't usually let it get that long. Um, and today I've done something something slightly differently. Usually what I do is I go to um, an eco hair, an, an organic hairdresser and I have to go into the city to do that and it takes me, takes me a day and it can be a little bit expensive. It's usually more expensive than going to your regular hairdresser, perhaps, maybe perhaps not. Um, and they use an organic hair dye on my hair, which to be honest is, is much better than a normal hair dye, but it still does contain chemicals, like harmful chemicals. And I have kind of, you know, reasoned for a while about, you know, okay, I'm just, it's not as bad as it was. And then when I got sick, you know, a few months ago, I, you know, at that point, I think I have to cut out everything, everything that's toxic, harmful. I have to cut out eating 80-20 food, you know, 20% of junk food, whatever I want. I'm just going to, everything that's going to be in my body and on my body is going to be pure and natural so that I can help my body to heal. So even the organic hair dye had to go, I'm afraid. Um, I would avoid buying the, the products from the organic hair dresser because when I looked on the back of them, I just saw all these ingredients that have been linked to cancer and I never put products on my hair. The hair dye is the only product that I use on my hair, but I thought this time I would try something different. So um, I've actually been going to a, a functional doctor recently, maybe every six weeks or every two months, and I use the money that I used to pay for my getting my hair done at the hair salon. Now I pay to the uh, functional doctor to help me to recover. So. And the money has diverted to that and plus I didn't have the energy to go to the organic hairdresser because it takes a lot of energy and the train, train journey and quite a long walk. So what is the solution? Because I thought I cannot stand these grey hairs, I can't just like grow a head of grey hair, I need to do something about it. So I went on to trust the old Amazon and I found this product, um, I think it's only available in the UK so I will link to some other products that are similar that are available in other countries as well um, and this one is like a, a henna hair dye so this one is called it's pure and it says herbal hair color now um, I look on the ingredients because it's important because just because it says herbal just because it says organic doesn't mean anything you've got to look at the ingredients and there's only four ingredients which is a good sign and I've got indigo powder, henna powder, cassia powder and amla powder. So that is just all stuff that's actually good for your health. There's nothing harmful in there whatsoever which I really really love. So I thought I'll give this a try. I've never tried it before. I have tried henna hair dyes before and and kind of um, didn't have a, br a brilliant experience with them. I mean, it to be honest, it's okay. So I wanted, to, I did want to do this video today to share my experience with you because not everything that I share with you is is going to be easy. But um, just because it's not necessarily the easiest solution doesn't mean to say it's not the best. So this, um, why is this so good for you? And not only is this not harmful for your health, it doesn't contain all those nasty toxic chemicals, but 
it actually is really help, uh, health, healthy for your scalp. Um, it, it improves the condition of your hair naturally and it um, helps actually to grow your hair faster. So it not only does it not harm your health, it actually improves your health as well. So um, this is the, um, the, benef the benefits and this is the reason why I wanted to use it. So what was my experience using like a henna powder or a you know, hair dye that's, that's a natural powder like henna or these other powders? Well, my first experience was that um, whenever I go to the hairdresser, usually I get um, exactly the shade that I want. I get like a kind of dark brownie, chestnutty type shade. It's actually two shades mixed together and it ends up being one that I like. And um, when I was choosing this, this product, there was only three shades. There was black, dark brown and chestnut. And people were saying the chestnut was quite ready. Um, so I've, I've been spending a lot of time getting the red out of my hair, so I decided to go for the dark brown and um, didn't really know what to expect and so this is the result. So I've just, I've done my hair. Yesterday I dyed my hair and this is the dark brown result and it said it depends on what colour your hair is naturally but also how long you leave it on for. So I actually left mine on for three and a half hours and the longer you leave it the more intense the colour gets and I would rather just leave it on just so I can be sure that I get my greys. So I don't know whether you can see if I get a bit closer and um, yesterday I could see a few of my greys and supposedly it, st it keeps getting darker and darker in time and your greys look a bit green to start with and then they finally they go darker and darker in a few days so they might keep getting darker but I'm pretty happy with the results. I can't really see my greys. Um, I can see them a tiny little bit but not very much so I'm happy with the way it looks. Um, but what was my experience? So the consistency, it came in a powder and I did, uh, for some reason I didn't read it properly. I just assumed it was a paste. I don't know why. Um, so it was a powder. You had to mix it with water so I mixed it into this paste and I thought this looks re really messy so I put on the, the rubber gloves and actually what I did was I actually sat in the bath so I had I filled up the bath with warm water and then I put on a t-shirt and I wrapped a towel around my neck sealed it with a little clip there um, to protect my body but also so that when I got out of the bath I didn't need to get dressed and put something else over my head um, but I, I didn't have anything on my, my bottom half so that I could just sit in the bath. So I couldn't think of a, another place. Um, I, I could have just sat out of the bath, but and I could have like protected the whole area with newspapers, but we don't have any newspapers, and I couldn't find anything to protect the floor. And in previous experience dyeing my hair, I know that sometimes it does blob out all over the place. So um, my solution was to go in the bath, because at least it's easy to wipe down. Um, so I sat in the bath, I did um, got the paste, I put it in like a plastic Tupperware container, mixed it around, put the rubber gloves on and I thought this feels really sloppy so I kind of parted my hair where I usually part it and because that's the most important thing to cover the greys there I thought well at least I'll get that bit rather than any other bit so but there was loads of this stuff, it was actually loads and loads and I've got really thick hair and it's still was way more than I needed um, so I just kind of got a handful and it was like mud and it just felt like I was just slapping mud on my hair so I just kind of slapped it on slapped it all over my head and it was just like oozing down so that that was I found that really difficult experience and I just and then when I just slapped it all on my head and I got it all on there and then I just tried to massage it into my my scalp just so that I got all of the the strands of hair well say all oh, I just kind of it was all just like slopping down onto this towel it wasn't staying on my head maybe I used too much but um I just got to a point where I just did the front bit and the the top layer and I just thought I can't be bothered <laughs> to do this anymore so I'm just going to leave it like that so they give you a shower cap you put the shower cap on and then I changed the towel put a new towel on left it I came out of the bath, left it for three hours and then I went back in the bath to wash it out and it took ages and ages and ages to get the water to go clear. Um, it, my hair did not feel a nice consistency, um, it felt like straw, it did not feel good and I thought oh no, what, has it done damage to my hair, what's happened? So I was washing it for ages and ages and ages and then I used shampoo and I used two lots of shampoo because I just 
wanted to get all of the colour out and then, then I used two lots of conditioner to, to condition my hair and then I came out the bath and uh, dried it a lot of it and it was all kind of like wiry and I thought oh no the condition doesn't feel very good and then I straightened, dried my hair and straightened my hair as normal and to be honest it doesn't, it feels quite good today like I don't, it feels quite, quite nice, quite well conditioned, it feels like better than usual um, before I dyed it so I'm actually, I'm actually um, happy with the result even though it was a, it was a hard process I won't lie to you it was not fun and when I, when I, while I was doing it I was thinking never again I'm not going to do this again so I am being honest with you but maybe I would actually do it again because I'm only going to do it maybe once every six weeks, once every eight weeks and I think, I think it's worth it to go through that to, to get a chemical free hairdo so overall I think yes I would do it again and yes I'm, I'm happy with the process I would have preferred that somebody else actually did it for me so that I could get because my hair's so thick to get you know all of the roots because I'm sure there's still some greys down there underneath the places that I didn't manage to get to um, so I would have preferred somebody else to do it for me but if I could maybe get a mobile hairdresser to come to my house and do that for me then that would be great so that would be the ideal solution probably for me is to to get somebody else to do that so um, I hope you have hope that's encouraged you to look for some more natural solutions for your hair because it's really important it can be can be causing us a lot of problems so we want to we want to improve our hair we don't want to you know um, end up thinning hair and all sorts of hair problems so who knows maybe the fact that I've been um, dyeing my hair since I've been 20 has contributed to even more grey hair so I would love to see less grey hairs in my head and I will keep you posted so have a lovely day and um, subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and like this video, share this video, encourage other people to get started on the natural hairdo bandwagon and if you would like some free healthy meal plans then you can get that by going to greenthickies.com forward slash leaf system and give your body a cleansing from the inside out and um, improve the condition of your hair, of your nails, of your skin by changing your food. So change everything, change your food, your cosmetics and you will see major, major differences in your health and your life. So take care. Bye.